Greetings, fellow guardians of the digital realm. Today, we're embarking on a journey beyond the familiar frontiers of intrusion detection systems and firewalls. These stalwart defenders play a crucial role in preventing unauthorized access to our networks, but let's face it, they're not invincible. In this episode, we're lifting the veil on the security limitations that even the best IDs and firewalls grapple with. Picture this, attackers honing in on vulnerabilities to exploit. It's a constant cat and mouse game, and we're here to unravel the intricate dance of cyber evasion techniques. From the subtle art of packet fragmentation to the clandestine maneuvers of source routing and the deceptive dance of IP address spoofing, this is scanning beyond IDs and firewall. It's not just about understanding the threats, it's about empowering you with the knowledge to outsmart them. So, fasten your seatbelts, cyber enthusiasts, as we explore the unseen dimensions of cybersecurity. Get ready to decode the tactics that go beyond the conventional, ensuring you're armed with the insights to fortify your digital defenses. This is where the game gets interesting. Now let's kick things off with a stealthy technique, source port manipulation. It's like the secret handshake of cyber evasion, where attackers exploit a chink in the armor of security systems. Picture this, you're an attacker aiming to slip past the watchful eyes of IDs and firewalls. Enter source port manipulation, a tactic that involves playing with port numbers to outsmart the defenses. The trick lies in manipulating the source port numbers, swapping them with common port numbers like HTTP, DNS, or FTP, all while taking advantage of the blind trust in these well-known ports. Ever wondered how an administrator configures a firewall to allow traffic from those trusted ports? Think HTTP, think DNS, the usual suspects. But here's where the vulnerability creeps in. By blindly trusting these source port numbers, the firewall unwittingly opens the door to incoming traffic from attackers masquerading under the guise of common ports. The attacker, armed with cunning tactics, can execute a maneuver like by typing nmap g80 target ip. Nmap, a powerful network scanning tool, is invoked with the G option followed by the common port number 80 and the target's IP address. This command becomes a powerful tool in the attacker's arsenal. Even though firewalls can be fortified with application-level proxies or protocol parsing elements, source port manipulation remains a potent method. The G or source port option in Nmap becomes the key to the kingdom, allowing the attacker to effortlessly tweak the original port number, slipping through the IDs and firewall undetected. IP Address Decoy Now, let's uncover another fascinating technique in our quest to outsmart IDs and firewalls, the IP Address Decoy. Imagine a digital ballet where the stage is crowded with decoys, making it near impossible for security mechanisms to distinguish the true performer from the ensemble. The IP address decoy technique revolves around creating a smokescreen of IP addresses, both manually specified and randomly generated, to cloak the true source of a scan. This confuses the IDs and firewalls, leaving them puzzled about which IP address is actually probing the network and which ones are mere decoys. Enter Nmap, the Swiss army knife of network scanning, equipped with a built-in decoy scan function. Let's explore two intriguing methods. The first one is, random decoys. By typing, Nmap drnd10 target. In this command, Nmap crafts a decoy scan with a random number of decoys, strategically positioning the real IP address amidst the decoy IPs. Picture a digital shell game that keeps the security mechanisms guessing. The second is, manual decoys. By typing, nmap d decoil decoy2 decoy3 me decoy4 your target. Using this command, you can manually specify the IP addresses of the decoys to scan the victim's network. Here, you have to separate each decoy IP with a comma and you can optionally use the me command to position your real IP in the decoy list. If you place ME in the second position of the command, your real IP will be positioned at the second position accordingly. This is an optional command, and if you do not mention ME in your scan command, then Nmap will automatically place your real IP in any random position. For example, assume that 10.0.2.15 is the real source IP and 10.0.2.2 is the target IP address to be scanned. These decoys can be generated in both initial ping scans such as ICMP, SYN, ACK, etc., and during the actual port scanning phase. IP address decoy is a useful technique for hiding your IP address. However, it will not be successful if the target employs active mechanisms such as router path tracing, response dropping, etc. Moreover, using many decoys can slow down the scanning process and affect the accuracy of the scan. The next is IP address spoofing. Now, let's unravel the clandestine art of IP address spoofing, a technique that turns the tables on firewalls and IDs, allowing attackers to slip through the cracks undetected. 
Picture this, most firewalls stand guard by filtering packets based on the source IP address. They scrutinize incoming packets, trying to discern friend from foe. But here's where the game gets interesting. Enter the IP address spoofing technique, a digital hijacking maneuver that puts attackers in the shadows. IP address spoofing involves an attacker masquerading as a legitimate host by altering packet headers. The attacker, like a cunning puppeteer, sends request packets to a target machine, making it appear as if they're coming from a trustworthy source. However, the reality is quite different. These packets are crafted in the lair of the attacker, with their true IP address cleverly concealed. When the victim, unsuspecting, responds to the apparent legitimate address, it's actually replying to the spoofed address, not the attacker's real one. It's a digital shell game where the illusion of legitimacy is shattered upon closer inspection. Attackers often wield IP address spoofing as a weapon for DOS attacks. Imagine this scenario, the attacker sends a connection request to the target host, and the target dutifully responds to the spoofed IP address. If the attacker spoofs a non-existent address, the target replies to a non-existent system, leading to a waiting game until the session times out. The result? The target unwittingly consumes a significant chunk of its resources, all under the puppet master's control. And remember that you will not be able to complete the three-way handshake and open a successful TCP connection with spoofed IP addresses. IP spoofing using HPing3 with a simple command like HPing3, your target, a IP address. You can use HPing3 to perform IP spoofing. The above command helps you to send arbitrary TCP IP packets to network hosts. MAC address spoofing. As we delve deeper into the shadows of cybersecurity, our final stop is a technique that pulls attackers even further away from prying eyes, MAC address spoofing. Imagine it as a digital mask, allowing cyber intruders to dance undetected within the intricate realms of network firewalls. Network firewalls, ever watchful, filter packets based on the source media access control address. They meticulously examine these addresses in packet headers, distinguishing between friend and foe. But where there's scrutiny, there's also evasion, and attackers leverage MAC spoofing to slip through undetected. Firewalls often employ MAC filtering rules to allow or restrict traffic based on specific MAC addresses. To thwart these restrictions, attackers adopt MAC spoofing techniques, crafting fake MAC addresses to pose as legitimate users and explore the hosts nestled behind the firewall's defenses. The MAC address spoofing technique empowers attackers to send request packets to target machines or networks, all while pretending to be a bona fide host. To execute this maneuver, attackers turn to the infamous NMAP tool, a versatile ally in their quest to outsmart firewalls. Let's unveil the two secrets of performing MAC address spoofing with NMAP. The first is random MAC address. NMAP, S capital T, capital PN, spoof MAC, zero, target IP. In this command, a random MAC address is generated and seamlessly attached to the packets during host scanning, obscuring the original MAC address. The spoof MAC0 signifies the randomization of the MAC address. The second is vendor specific MAC address. NMAP, S capital T, capital PN, spoof MAC, vendor, target IP. Attackers can opt for a MAC address from a specified vendor, masking their identity in the process. This covert scan allows them to navigate in hidden mode, with the original MAC address eluding the scrutiny of firewall logs. MAC address spoofing is the ultimate digital disguise, where attackers can roam freely without leaving a trace. Thank you for delving into scanning beyond IDs and firewall with us. But guess what? This is just the appetizer. Brace yourselves for a feast of hacking knowledge in our upcoming videos. Stay tuned, stay curious, and get ready to elevate your hacking game to the next level. The adventure has just begun.